Hello, this is another episode of the Macro of the Week series. I'm going to show you some hidden features of SolarWorks API, allowing you to suspend rebuild operations in SolarWorks models. Rebuild operations to edit the complex model can take significant amount of total modeling time. And unfortunately, rebuild operations cannot be performed in a batch mode, which means that all individual edits will trigger the model rebuild. Let's perform several edits on this model and measure the time for modeling and for rebuild. Let's start by adding a couple of fillet features to the edges. So we'll start by adding the first fillet to this body. I will set the radius to 0.5 mm. And I will repeat the same for the second body. In order to propagate those changes to all the instances of the circular pattern, I just need to drag and drop that feature before the circular pattern feature. And you can see now our first big rebuild operation is taking place. So in total it took about 30 seconds to do that rebuild operation. Let's continue and edit the sketch segment here, just to change the shape of our propeller. And when we can exit the sketch, now another rebuild operation is taking place. And this one took around 18 seconds. So it's also changed the dimension in a sketch. So now let's see how long this would take. So it's around 20 seconds to do that. So finally let's edit this sketch and change the dimension within the sketch itself. Let's exit the sketch and measure how much time it is required to rebuild the model. So it took another 17 seconds. So in total, all our rebuild operation took about 1 minute 25 seconds and our modeling time took 2 minutes 37 seconds. Let's test now one of the standard features of SOLIDWORKS called freeze bar. So we should enable the freeze bar feature by going to system options and checking the enable freeze bar toggle. Now we can drag the freeze bar to lock our features. So you can see when we move our freeze bar, there is a lock icon next to the features, which means that those features are, cannot be rebuilt anymore. Unfortunately, there are a lot of limitations in this state. So you cannot edit the definition of the feature, you cannot edit sketch, and you also cannot edit dimensions. Unfortunately, this feature will not be useful in our case. Let's now perform the same set of operation and measure the performance using the suspend rebuild macro. You can download this macro from free from CodeStack website by following the link is in the description of this video. You can run this macro from SolidWorks using the tools macro run. You can also create a macro button for this macro or you can host it in toolbar plus, which I did in this demo. We can run our macro from the command tab box. When macro is run, form is displayed and when this form is visible, our rebuild operation in the model suspended. When rebuild is suspended, it is important to perform your edits from the bottom to the top of the tree. Let's start by adding two fillets. So you can see the fillet feature is created, but the fillet is not yet displayed in the model. This is because we have a suspension. But we can drag and drop and you can see there is no performance penalties. So it is pretty much immediately. So we can do the same for the sketch. So we can edit our sketch, exit sketch, and you can see there is no edit operations. And you can see that our feature is locked now. We can also change dimensions. As you can see, the dimension is changed, but it's actually not yet applied to the model. And finally, let's change dimension here. So you can see it's much faster to perform the edit this way. Now we can exit suspension mode and rebuild our model. We only need to perform one rebuild operation for four edits in contrast to four rebuilds in the previous steps. The rebuild took 19 seconds, which is aligned with the individual rebuild's time from the previous step. Total modeling time is now down to 1 minute 42 seconds, and total rebuild time is now only 19 seconds. As a summary, we managed to save about 55 seconds on modeling time, which is about 1.5 times faster. And rebuild time reduced by 66 seconds, which is about 4.5 times faster. This macro cannot be used in all cases as it has its limitations. But if you require to perform batch edits on the large model, this macro can be a good time saver. Thank you for watching this video.